Hey learners, hope you all are doing well. In the previous session, we discussed about Python installation and we run first Python script. In today's session, we are going to see input output statements provided by Python. Those who are familiar with C, they might be knowing that in C, there is input output statement like printf and scanf. Similarly, in C++, there is C in C out. The similar way, Python also has provided its own input output statement like print and input. So let's start discussing about print. Print is used to display output. Print doesn't return any value. There are different forms of print. All the forms we'll discuss one by one. Some form we may be discussing at the time when we'll take string and its member function. The first very simplest form of print is print without any argument. So when we don't pass any argument to print, it will just display a blank line. Let's see the result. I have already started Python interpreter. Print without any argument. You can see it has just displayed a blank line. And again, your Python interpreter prompt is displayed. Then next form is print with list of values. You can pass any amount of comma separated list of values like value one, comma value two going on. The square indicate it is optional. Now these values can be variable. It can be a constant value expression it can be called to any other function to print with any number of values i said these values can be string variables expression called to any other function what this print statement will do is it will display all these values one after another on the monitor and these all values are by default separated with space as an illustration, I've created one variable name with value Ajit, age with value 42, sub1 with value Python, sub2 data science. Now to this print, I've passed a list of value. One is a string, then another variable, again string, variable. It will display all these values one after another and all these values are separated by space. You can see the result is hello Ajit your age is 42 you are teaching Python and data science and by default you can see all the values are separated by comma. Let's see this result in our Python interpreter. I'll take some other example I've created x comma y comma z as three variables. Python allows you to do such multiple initialization which will be discussing it in the topic operators assignment operator now all these three variables are initialized with 10 20 30 now to print i'm passing one string x equal to comma x comma double quote y equal to comma y double quote z equal to comma z all these values will be displayed one after another the string value of variable string value of variable again string value of variable i hope you have got this form of print then let's discuss the next form of print now in the previous case you might have seen print after displaying the value at the end it puts a new line means by default after every print a new line is displayed but suppose if you want something other than new line at end you can use this end attribute the so end equal to and whatever you have specified in this double quote single quote is also allowed so whatever you have specified in the place of this end that will be displayed at the end instead of displaying new line at the end so by default, the value of end attribute is slash n. If we want, we can specify different value. 
according to our concern using end attribute as a illustration you can see hello now instead of putting a new line at the end it will display space again world at the end space and then python but here we haven't specified end attribute therefore it will put a new line let's see the illustration like i'm writing print hello and comma end equal to dot 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 i have written so you can see at the end does it display dot 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 instead of putting a new line then let's see the next form again in the previous case after displaying all this list of value you might have seen each value is by default separated with space but if you want something other than space as a separator you can use scp attribute and now whatever you have mentioned in this double quote that will be used as a separator between these two values so by default output values are separated by space if we want we can specify separator by using scp attribute as an example i have initialized three variables a b c with 10 20 30 30 now to the print i have given list of a b c but scp is comma so all the three values will be separated with comma similarly in the next example i have given scp as colon so all the three values will be separated by colon let's see an example x comma y comma z equal to 10 comma 20 comma 30 print x y z and i'm giving scp equal to dot so you can see all the three values are separated by dot let's see the next form of print print and pass any object now that object can be any inbuilt object like list set tuple dictionary or you can pass object of user defined class also now whenever you pass a object it will implicitly call one magic method underscore underscore str underscore underscore which is very much similar to to string in java those who are familiar with to string in java to so pass any object as argument to print as an example i have created one list then i have created one tuple then pass that list or tuple it will display the value of that list and tuple let's see the illustration i have created x is equal to brace bracket 10 30 90 this is a set and when i pass print and to that print i pass that set it will display the value of that set let's continue discussing the next form of print now this is very much similar to printf in php or printf in c print and to that you'll pass format string now this format string will be made up of format specifier now that format specifier is a person sign which is indicating as a placeholder and followed by a conversion symbol that conversion symbol indicates the type of value which is going to get substituted in place of that format specifier after that you have to give a list of value in a tuple form which will be replaced in place of that format specifier 
this values are always to be given in a tuple and the format string and the tuple is separated by percent now different format specifiers are as follows the format string can contain any of the format specifier like if it's integer to percent i percent d is also allowed percent f is for float percent s is for string as an example suppose name equal to ajit age equal to 42 sub 1 equal to python sub 2 equal to data science now you can see this is the format string in which there are two format specifier percent s percent d this string is separated with a percent and the list of values which we want to substitute are given in a tuple the so name is substituted in percent s age in place of percent d similarly in the next case sub 1 is substituted in percent s sub 2 in percent s so it will give output something like this let's see the result in our python interpreter suppose x y equal to 10 comma 67.5 in print i'm writing double quote x equal to percent d and then d y equal to percentage f then percent and again separated with a tuple in which there are list of values which we want to substitute in place of that placeholders you can see x is replaced in percent d y replaced in percent f so these were different forms of print some forms as i said we'll discuss it in string methods so first i said print without value print with list of value print with the end separator print with a scp attribute then print with a format string and print with a object i guess you have got this forms we'll be using it in our subsequent topics in different programs that's all for today in the next session i'll tell you about input statement and other subsequent topics of programming like identifiers operators keywords what are rules of identifiers etc so as always guys keep learning keep evolving god bless you see you in the next video don't forget to share like and subscribe our channel